Okay, so I decided to do my project on chapter 4, section 1, and then I'm going to focus on the difference threshold. So after the absolute threshold point is reached is when you will be able to feel a sensation, and then as you continue to travel past the absolute threshold, uh, the stronger the sensation will get. And so once you're past the absolute threshold, each point has a different amplitude of sensation. So therefore, the difference between a sensation at the absolute threshold and a few units past will seem stronger. And so the further you get from the absolute threshold, uh, the difference in sensation between two points uh, decreases. So it's kind of like if you go from $1 to $5, it's kind of going to seem like a lot. But if you go from $880 to $885, it's not going to seem like a lot because you're already spending so much money, so the $5 doesn't seem like a difference. And then you could also uh, compare it to when you're in the car and you turn up the radio a little bit. You're going to notice it from being quiet to a little bit louder. But if you turn it up almost all the way and it's super loud, and then you turn it up like a few more notches so it's all the way up, it's not going to seem like a big difference because it's already so loud, you're not going to be able to tell the volume difference. And so I used, my references were from the textbook and then a video based on the difference threshold.